some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on TRS clips. Let's talk a little bit about signs and symbols and crop circles, you know, <laughs> but signs and symbols. Uh, what does it even mean? Like this is the first time someone's brought up this topic on the show and kind of embarrassed to say that signs and symbols have never crossed my mind in a very long time. Like the last time it crossed my mind was when I was watching Ancient Aliens on the History Channel. Why does it fascinate you so much? Is it because it carries messages? It carries deep messages. And what's the difference? I think you touched upon it earlier on this episode. You said that symbols are something you absorb. Yeah, signs are something like, this could be a sign, a flash. What does that mean? Like from an archaeological perspective? Uh, it means that there's a message. There's a there's a message that uh, the ancients are trying to tell you. No, but is it is it like symbols etched on walls? It could be the language that they're trying to say. You know, uh, you couldn't have books on stone walls, you know. So as much as even uh, whether it's hymns or whether it's mantras, you don't get, oh, I'm a boy, I'm 16 years old, I'm... This is not what you write. What, uh, you know, what you would write is basically something which you want the people of beyond to know. Mm. What is legacy? What is history? What is power? What is you? Remembering you. What mm. is you? Mm. So if it is a, if it is you, like let's say if someone is famous, it means that the person is known. But for how much time? What if a person wanted to be famous beyond time? Like Tutankhamun. Maybe. Or, you know, Ramses. Mm. Or anyone, the high priest for that matter. What if the high priest wanted to send you a message that, look, we face this. Be careful. Mm. You know? What did, so there are different signs which are available. But you know? when you say signs, what do you practically mean? In, in like the real world, what would count as a sign? What would count as a symbol? I'm assuming that a symbol is etched on like the walls of a, a pyramid, for example. Yes. What would be an example of a sign? A sign could be, um, you know, something which leads, which could be very, which could be very fractional in the sense like it could be something as you enter in, you know, and a, a puff of uh, smoke comes out. What? That's a part of... It could be sending a message, yeah. It could be sending a message. Uh, now, this puff of smoke could be, uh, when they had sealed it, they put in something there which was supposed to repel people, you know. It could be just a fragrance and you are repelled. Which has stayed alive for thousands yes, of years. Yes, because it's sealed. When you talk about the woolly mammoth, the only reasons why they stay is because they were sealed. They were cut away from time. Time has been like, you know, severed, if you could call it that, you know. And on your archaeological adventures, yes. you've come across signs? We've had, we've had signs wherein like, which would say that, you know, do not venture ahead. Where was this? Uh, well, we've had this in one of the, uh, you know, uh, we, we did this in Africa, in Nigeria to be very specific, Cameroon, uh, Nigeria border. We have, we also had something which is called as the mountain of spirits in Cameroon, you know. So when we were doing uh, sites there, we have had like certain, certain things which would say, you know, we shouldn't be doing it. Like there are stories, to, to give you an idea, there are stories about the mountain of spirits. That would count as a sign? Yes. Because it's it's kind Supposed of to, yes. carried its way into human Absolutely. culture beyond it's time. It's just like a red light. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not something which will dwell over. Like you don't dwell on the traffic light. Like uh, a parking symbol would be something, oh, you cannot park here. It doesn't say you cannot park here. It says no parking. Like you know, just P slash, you know. It's it's like the equivalent of the Indian way of saying uh, on Ekadashi you should fast. That could be a sign which, carried, could, which has carried its way into human. Right. So the symbol could be something more like the Om or mm. could be something more like the swastika mark, mm. which has significance which people don't understand, but it has a lot to give. Mm. The question is, as a seeker, are you ready for it? And are you going to do it? Sign could be on your face, you know, like you have to do it, like your red, yellow. So it could be a, a oral story, which is uh, like, uh, which is supposed to keep you at bay. Maybe, it could maybe be the Bhagavad Gita is a sign. Would it count? I would say it will be more than a symbol. In <laughs> fact, there are so okay. many mixed, there are so many messages there. So gotcha. many messages. So it would be like each words, I mean, has been carefully etched and put in place. So it has multiple messages, even in the placement of things, you mm. know, whether it, I mean, the way you say it, uh, the words you use to say it, 
there are so many things which are there so i would say like it is more than a simple so yeah maybe maybe signs and symbols are basically encapsulated information that serve different purposes yeah that serve different purposes that the past wanted the future to know the past people wanted their yes. descendants to know right um in terms of symbols i'm sure there's like a wide variety with different messages would you say that the overarching theme of most symbols that you find from ancient cultures are related to sustainability being one with nature because that's kind of a gist of what i've got from this conversation absolutely is it different things uh, most or more of it is around human life it also talks about uh, flora and fauna okay like uh, birds just an example birds there are certain birds which are the phoenix going there now <laughs> yeah sure phoenix is a, a bird which is associated with death and rebirth it's like coming back mm. you know you a person dies and comes back with renewed vigor to do things which would have never been possible with the old mm. life mm. so it's something which is a source of inspiration mm. so when you see a ototem like that you remember that this is a this is a story or this is a spirit which our ancients are saying through this uh you know symbol that you cannot give up mm. you have to keep going like it's a motivational video which they packed into time yes <laughs> true mm. because they used to never have like uh, a person who would say this what if your uh, now let's just to take this a uh, step ahead what if your podcast were to be like you know made into a a, a one image video and you had to deliver it like a time capsule like you know you, you leave it mm. and later people come in and say oh wow these thoughts you know were so vibrant and are so very essential even today like yeah it's it's probably why this element of shiva is present across so many cultures yes. there must have been some great human being way back maybe 3 lakh years ago absolutely who did some great stuff who went beyond human life yeah. that's why you find elements of it from in the indus valley in egypt in africa absolutely more absolutely. more on that in the next episode though yes there's something very interesting yeah. which i would love to share mm. but probably we'll yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hold back for this one <laughs> we'll start the next episode with it because this one's more from a world history kind of perspective right. like we've got an international audience now right um loving this whole signs and symbols angle you've like kind of opened up a new topic for me to dive into and i'm not educated enough to ask you the right questions about oh, it you've done great in fact and there's also another thing which before we wrap up also the part of you know the kinds of signs and symbols you asked about that and that lingers I, i'm just holding myself back because it is a whole new book also sayings 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 like you know muhavre rome, muhavre like rome was not built in a day mm. like you know it needs uh, it needs more than a village to raise a child mm. one uh, tree is not a forest so these are you know packed things which are just given you bang and you think tweets of the past <laughs> that's amazing like thanks for watching make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you